Hello everybody, this is Linda Israel. Challenge I am to use eyelids. So I want to show you what I came up with. First I started off with a couple of Sizzix die cuts on some chipboard and I painted those. I'm using basic acrylic paint and mixing the couple of green colors together and just daubing it on with a foam brush. I have some loose glitter already in a tray and I put the piece that I just painted with the green in there and just put the glitter over on top. That way the glitter would just stick to the paint and I didn't have to use any adhesive. Then I took the smaller template that would be a book plate and painted that purple. I'm going to set that aside to dry. I have an oval piece that is the center from another Sizzix die that I cut out and then a piece of this plaid paper and I'm just going to cut this out. And then I have a little sanding block that I picked up a while back from a company that's no longer in business. But you could also use an emery board or maybe one of your other distressing tools that you may have. And I'm just going around the edge and sanding it to give it a little bit more of a finished blended in look and then I'm going to go over it with a purple distressed ink pad and then I'm using my sponge to go over the top just a little bit. The Prima flowers I'm going to ink up with the Adirondack spray inks. Two different colors, I got a purple and a teal and then my mixture of what I call pearlescent colors or glimmer mist which is future floor polish and pearlex mixed together and those with my heat tool so that I can use them rather quickly it doesn't take very long for them to dry I have a piece of matte board and a piece of background paper and I'm using a leans craft glue to glue the two together and then I'm going to go around the edge with my sanding block again and then I'm going to use my distressed ink pad to add some color decided that I wanted to stamp this swirl with gold brilliance ink and then emboss it with gold ink or gold embossing powder and then because of the distressed ink stays a little bit wet I went around the edge and thought that wherever the powder stuck to it would be okay it would give it a little bit of a shimmer wherever the gold embossing powder stuck and I heated it up. I'm using an eighth inch of a hole punch. I take that back, a quarter inch of a hole punch. And then this is my Home Pro tool and I have it set up to do eyelets. And I just set some lavender colored eyelets in there. And then I have some Chanel yarn or fiber. The rubber stamp is from Studio G. It's a little set that I picked up for a dollar at Michael's. Sometimes you can find some really good bargains there. I'm going to stamp it with black brilliance ink and then emboss it in black. The word so is from Evoke Studio Art Stamps. 
I'm just going around the edges with my teal ink pad from Stays On. Decided that I wanted to basically matte the blessed, and I had a pink cardstock that I thought went really well. And I went around the edges of the cardstock, and I thought, well, it needed to be a little bit distressed, so I used my little distressing tool, which is actually a thread cutter that sewers would use or embroidery people would use. Again, I'm using Aline's craft glue. And I couldn't decide which way I wanted things to be laid out. I kept moving things around. I finally decided I liked the oval going up and down instead of across. And I will mix hot glue with the craft glue because I found that if I only use hot glue, that if the piece of art is put in a place where it could get warm then the hot glue can come undone and then your art piece falls apart. And this is a piece of tulle that I've cut into a circle. It's very hard to see but I thought it gave it a real neat little wispy look kind of like little leaves. I decided that the oval piece needed something else on top, so I got out my Brilliance ink pad and my embossing powder, gold embossing powder, decided to stamp on top of that. The back is a little bit smaller than my 6x6 and I made a little template so I'm punching holes that are about an inch and a half, almost two inches from the corners and I'm using little hangers that I picked up in the woodworking department in Hobby Lobby and Brad's and I'm putting those on there and then I'll put some regular glue and some hot glue to glue this to the back of my mat board and that's how the artwork could be hung or it could be sat in the butterfly is one of my handmade butterflies if you check out my polymer clay handmade butterfly video you can see how I made those and those are just standard little rhinestones. I'm using the accent, glossy accents from Ranger Ink to glue it down. And that's it. It was really simple to make. It probably took me about 30 minutes to put it together. And part of that was because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do and I kept changing my mind. There'll be a couple of still photos after this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please comment and subscribe. I am uh, hoping that the more people that like this, the more that I can create. If you've got ideas that you want to see, please let me know. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping. Bye.